one? You're obviously confused in the round. That sounds uh, complicated, Tom. It's kind of a long way. Uh oh. Here we go. I'm doing something. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm throwing pizza at Omicron Percy IH people. <laughs> uh, if you hadn't guessed already, Slurmcast listeners, this is another straight-up bonus episode. Not filler, never filler. Just extra content for your ear holes in between our regular episodes. Oh, dear. Tom, you're, that's very distracting. He's, he's getting the Omicronians. Oh, they, okay, they're dead now. <laughs> you want, you, <laughs> I got you 15 Nixon bucks for that. Oh. Right. So, uh, what is it? Almost a month ago, I guess, there was a live read broadcast on Facebook of a Futurama episode in order to promote the Futurama world of tomorrow. over a month ago. Over a month ago? It's almost two months Mm. now. Oh, my God. Uh, Where did the summer go? But um, promoting the release of Worlds of Tomorrow. So we figured we meant to talk about this a while ago, and things got away from us. Um. And so now we're going to kind of combine the live read and our our uh, reflections on the game itself. That sounds very boring, but we'll uh, <laughs> we'll make it even worse. It'll be fine. <laughs> so uh, as best as I can remember, the live read happened uh, very late at night, at least on it's past uh, my bedtime. Yeah, Eastern time. I think I'd had quite a bit to drink. So I took a bunch of notes, and they really don't make any sense to me <laughs> at this point. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I remember it. I remember what episode they were doing. It was late. I was excited because I thought, like, the time, and I didn't notice that it was uh, Pacific time. Yeah. And I was just like, <laughs> oh, and then it, ha- like, went by, and like, oh. oh. Like, I was ready. <laughs> I, had my, I had my iPad ready to take notes. I'm like, we gotta get, got to get my daughter to bed. It's good. Like, I gotta, I'm working, you know, and then uh, I think – you actually messaged me time. You're like, it's Pacific time. Like, oh, shit. Did I tell you that? I think I told you that it was Pacific time because I remember you messaging me like, you're going to watch it? And oh, yeah, that's right. Like, yeah. yeah, but it's not until 1130. That's <laughs> so oh. late for me. I mean, it, like, to be fair, on a regular night, I'd still be up and, you know, abusing yeah. my body at that point. But it was I had to be like lucid and clear to take the notes. But I really enjoyed it. Like I remember I distinctly. It being eleven thirty, having an obligation to do something is just that's that's yeah. where it's hard because at eleven thirty you're just like, no, I may be up, and, but I want to be doing whatever and yeah. not like, yeah, uh, have to. See. I mean, I, it was enjoyable, but I think that's part of the problem with it being so late. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then then it kind of started late. There were some problems with the feed. Yeah, I think they were waiting for people to to log into the feed or something. I mean, it, it showed. They're, they were what were they playing like trailers for old episodes or something and for Yo. a while for like twenty minutes after eleven thirty hit they were just playing random stuff it feels and like I, and until I, was it a, co- a commercial for the game too yeah I think so yeah oh it yeah it's oh yeah the, I think uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson was in it yeah Neil deGrasse Tyson and um, uh, George Takei yeah and Stephen Hawking and Stephen Hawking. And I, I wrote down in my notes, a crummy commercial, son of a bitch. <laughs> um, because, you know, whenever you can reference a Christmas story, you should. Be sure to drink your Ovaltine. Yeah. Folks. So uh, on that Have note. Have you ever had Ovaltine? I love it. It's basically quick, right? It's it's like uh, malted milk. It's it's like hot. Ch- it's, it's like chocolate milk mix, but it's like also a malt. Mm-hmm. <sighs> It's it's really weird and kind of good. I it is had good. it a lot as a kid because my grandpa loved it. I okay. don't think I've had it in like ten or fifteen years, but it's so good. And now I, I kind of want some Ovaltine, but I have no idea where <laughs> to buy Ovaltine. Ovaltine. Yeah, <laughs> apparently there there's some uh, some. God damn it! Uh, 
subliminal advertising campaign has worked. And yeah. it's, it's infiltrated everything else. It's because little orphan Annie told me that I had to drink more. <laughs> <laughs> damn you, Sarah Important. Jessica Parker. Damn you. Um, the interesting thing about the live, well, there are several, I think. Um, one, Katie Seagal blew it off. They said I she was had so like. upset. Yeah, right? I was so looking forward to seeing Katie Seagal. I don't think she blew it up. Maybe she. They said she had she another had obligation. Prior commitments. Yeah, or something she like had to that. sing with her blues band down at the corner <sighs> bar or something. I don't know. Now, that being said, afterwards, I uh, I did get at least Twitter attention from her off of our account by saying like, hey, sorry you weren't there, but Tress did a great job. And then she's, she liked that. And it's like, oh, mm. well, that's nice. Acknowledgement, attention. Yeah, I mean, I think it's I think she's proud of it. She's proud of her work on Futurama. She said before that she would do it again if they asked her to record more. But I don't think it's I don't think she purposely blew it off, but bummed definitely that she wasn't there. What was the event that they were doing the live read at? Was it Comic Con? I don't I think it was too early for Comic Con. It was I mean, it was some sort of con, I think. Well, Chris Hardwick was there, so I think maybe that's why I'm assuming that it was Comic Con. Was it uh, was it his um that's the only place he <laughs> ever is ever. <laughs> was it was it his ID ten T festival? Was it part of that? It may have just been their own event. It may have just been like a big thing when they were releasing the game that they just said, hey, let's book a stage and do the thing. There's a lot of people there, though. I mean, and, and so it was a good turnout. I think they had almost, I think they did have all of the original cast except for Katie Seagal. Yeah. So uh, John DiMaggio, Lauren Tom, Maurice LaMarche, Phil Lamar, Tress McNeil, David Herman, uh, apparently just there to be scruffy. <laughs> so he sat on the stage the whole time with the, you know, mm -hmm. just to, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Billy West, who my my notes say the man is ageless. And I th I was just going to say that I was just looking up how old is Billy West, because I know he's like, what, he's 70? in his 60s, 60, late 60s. Or yeah. Something? Yeah. I mean, he's kind of got that. um Oh, the just for men look going on with his hair. He's a little bit too black of yeah. the of hair, but who's this? Yeah, Billy, West. Billy West. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He's looking good. He yeah. looks good overall. It's, it's probably some um, plastic surgery, but not. It's tasteful, you know. Like he 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 looks really good for someone his age. And then uh, David X Cohen and Matt Groening were also there. I was surprised that Matt Groening was there. I I mean I I feel like he doesn't really come to stuff like that much i mean i know he's working on some new thing for netflix like yeah. an original show i'll be interested but, to see how that turns out yeah do you i guess this is pure conjecture and has nothing to do with what we're talking about but do you think that the animation models on his new show will map back to futurama and the simpsons Are i we, think they probably will yeah a, they spend a lot of money on that 3d art that that's kind of what worked for Futurama. It was so different at the time that I'm just thinking more along the like, will he purposely not draw them to or <laughs> I'm I'm getting too many like double negatives. Will he draw them to not look like Futurama and Simpsons characters, or will it be something where it kind of adheres to that same universe? I mean, I think that the bulbous eyes are kind of his thing, even though Simpsons are very distinct. I mean, there's whole how to draw the Simpsons books where yeah. you can, they tell you exactly this is why the Simpsons look like the Simpsons is how you do the eyes and the nose have to, has to hit the certain point. But I think Futurama, he got away with that. Nobody's got the same round nose, but still the bulbous eyes were yeah. kind of yeah. in on there. The, on the DVDs for Futurama, they have, um, actually, I think it's season three, there's like a whole section of how to draw a bunch of different characters. Really? Mm -hmm. Interesting. They're like, it's like step by step. Huh. Instructions. And I started to do it, but it's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, you know, it, it'll be interesting to see what, what comes of that. Um, the, the live read itself was just a, um, it was, it was a live reading of the episode proposition infinity, which did you get a, uh, what season and episode number that is. Like, I, I have notes from that, like, if we were going to do this as a regular show, and I think we were just talking about starting this, we're going to kind of skip that because we will get to that episode eventually. Um, it raised a bunch of questions for me because uh, I think when, when this happened, it was just after the Kidnapster episode, 
And I had a lot of questions and continuity issues about people and robots doing it. Oh yeah, you. This is yeah. it's far. It's <clears throat> it was robo sexuals. Mm -hmm. It looks like this was um, production season six, episode four. Yeah. Okay, so we're still probably Proposition mm -hmm. Infinity, twenty some episodes away from that. Don't worry. When we watch it, I'll have all sorts of questions about it anyway. That we are will vex you. Seventeen. 18, 19, but yeah, 20, no, about 24. Um, so then there was, after the live read, which, it, I mean, even uh, Tress McNeil doing the Leela part in the thing, it, it all was really, I, re, I mean, like I said, real late at night, a couple months ago, I was pretty drunk, but I remember enjoying it a lot. I think they did a really good job, and it was a fun thing to even via internet participate in yeah and why go through it well we'll go through the episode when we do it and just do yourself a favor if you haven't watched it go find it and watch it because it's it's fun it's fun it's a it's a mm -hmm. it's a good thing then they stuck on uh q a at the end um i <laughs> i can't remember what I, any of the questions I were definitely fell asleep right <laughs> about the last five minutes of that episode i was uh felt my eyes closing and i lost i lost it I was done. I I tried to uh, I tried to keep up, and I I had just have um, guests in the game are George Takei, Chris Hardwick, Stephen Hawking, Bill Bye, which I assume is Bill Nye. Uh, Bill Nye. <laughs> <laughs> and then then I I left this in because it's an <laughs> it's an auto your drunkest note. <laughs> no, this is this is my iPad <laughs> auto correcting. It it corrected Neil deGrasse Tyson to Neil DeGrade Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> which I I kind of like that a lot. Like that's almost yeah. like a like a weird punk band pseudonym name. It should be, <laughs> you know, like getting real deep in there. And then I have another note about um, that Billy Billy was the one that started doing the oh my for George Takei. And <laughs> and if I'm remembering it right, I might be completely wrong. But when he used to do voices on Howard Stern way back in yeah. the early 80s. Billy West. Right? Billy West. Yes. Um, I think it was him that started doing it. Or it might have just been that that was his favorite uh, impression. Yeah. I don't know. I like. Was that something that George Takei said a lot? I, or did he start saying it a lot because like, people liked it? It's like, what came first, the chicken yeah. or the egg? <laughs> well, and so I think, I mean, again, this is, this is me misremembering all kinds of things, but... Um, originally, George Takei got looped into the Howard Stern show because they'd prank call him. And it was before he was out, and it was like this guy, you know, it was it was kind of like this, you know, as, as so often is the case on the uh, Howard Stern show, it was sort of problematic, especially in hindsight, where it was like they were calling up the guy who was obviously yeah. gay and getting him to talk in a really gay manner, and... It, it, that was the funny part. And, you know, it was George, so he's really entertaining. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the interesting thing about that when it all came back around was, like, when he did come out and they had him on the show as an announcer, it was just, like, he reveled in that because people genuinely loved him. He just seems so, like, like he just radiates positivity. Yeah. <laughs> and and he's, he just, like, I would just like to meet him and, like, just bask in his glory at some point because he's just so, like... He just seems like the most supportive person of any person. Ever. Yeah, yeah. Did uh, did you watch? It's okay to be to K. No, it's fun. It's I mean, it's a it's kind of a you know hour and a half killer on Netflix, but it's it's pleasant enough. He's he's had a really interesting life. He's a really interesting guy, and I can't wait until I come across him in Futurama, <laughs> Worlds of Tomorrow. Uh. How how deep are you into the game? Um, I have not even bought any land or anything. I have Fry and Amy and the Professor. See, I'm pretty deep. And one X one. Oh, and yeah. you need at um, least two. Yeah, yeah. I can't even afford to buy any land right now, so gotta I just got to got to go out into space and get more. Uh... The reason why I haven't played it, I mean, it's cool, mm -hmm. but. The Simpsons has a has a similar game yeah. like yeah, that. Yeah, tapped out. Tapped I out. I actually played that pretty 
like too much probably. Me too. And um, I kind of stopped playing it. I got bored. I hit the level cap and didn't want to spend money on playing it anymore. I wasn't I entertained. Money. Oh, I, I spent money. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> I mean, that's like a hard and fast line that I've drawn in the sand with this. Yeah. I, I won't like Angry Birds. Never spent money on it. Yeah, this game, I've been tempted, but I'm not going to do it. Um. I, I just, I get... I just really wanted Booberella. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way you can get her now, because if you didn't play it back in, like, 2013 when she really? was, like, a special event unlocked. Oh, yeah. Oh. So they do special events all during the year, and it's, like... Different holidays and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, the Thanksgiving one. So I wasn't entertained by those anymore up until... Maybe it was, like, a couple months ago. Maybe it was around Christmas time. Once I did the Christmas event, I was like, eh, I'm kind of done with this, but... I stopped playing it for a while, and now that this Futurama game has come out, it has definitely taken the place <laughs> of Tapped Out. But it's it's almost the same game, where you're you know tapping to collect income yeah. and experience points and all that stuff. But I have I have been playing since the day it came out, and because I was one of the I actually <laughs> I wanted them to um, they emailed me when the game was able to be downloaded on the iOS. <laughs> on the app store it sent me an email saying that i could download it because i, I they, signed they were up on for to it you. yeah well, i signed up for it uh, i wanted that notification so they gave me some pizza which is like the equivalent of donuts in tapped out yeah uh, i am now level 26 really <laughs> in the game oh my god <laughs> i've got uh, i just just unlocked i just finished the earth missions and uh, I'm about to unlock Leela, but I need to need to collect some more of her wrist thingies and some more. Oh, Le you still Leela don't foods. get Leela? She's way far there. down. Yeah, um, it's like save the princess. <laughs> she's not the last character that you need to save though, or need to recruit. So I've is got it Zoidberg. I've got it, Zoidberg. I think is the last one that you can recruit. Um, right now, they're doing an event just like Tapped Out would, yeah. where um, it's the Omicronians are invading. Yeah. So that wasn't a thing when I first started playing. That was just a couple of weeks. Yeah, ago there's that been started. updates. So yeah, there are updates. There's um see I've got I unlocked George Takei. I've got him. You have George Takei. I have George Takei. So does he show up in the head museum or something or um I don't know if that was their first special event. I don't know if you can get him anymore. Really? Son of a yeah, bitch. I think it was like when you first start playing, they he come he pops up and you could pay for Neil deGrasse Tyson's head in a jar. Of course. And then George Takei has a body. Um, it's 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 covered if you play the game and they they make jokes about it. But he can go on missions with you if you unlock him. Um, but you had to do all of these things Random like you had to tasks. collect Star Trek tapes, like recordings oh, of God. Star Trek in space by completing missions and stuff. So. See, I'm not really much of a gamer at all. Uh, like, I I think I played Angry Birds. I, I got into it late, very late, and then played it until I kind of maxed out, and it was like, okay, I'm done. And then the next game that I had like that was um, years ago, I pre-ordered Frozen for my daughter to watch, like, from Apple out mm -hmm. of iTunes. And that included like a frozen Candy Crush game. And I played that <laughs> for like three years. I mean, I went through like 700 levels on that thing. And I kept I'm like, I'm going to, I thought, I, I really thought I got to a point where I was like, oh my God, I'm going to solve it. I'm going to be done. <laughs> I'm going to beat this game for Yeah, children. I'm going to finally be and done. And then an update comes out. <laughs> and then I got to that point and it just kind of flipped over into another one. I'm like, motherfucker. And I'm, I, that was it. I'm like, this is stupid. I'm done. So when this first came out, I mean, just in the interest of the show, I'm like, well, okay, I'll give it a shot. And I was like, ah, all right. Then I realized that you could actually save your progress if you connected it to your Facebook account. So mm -hmm. win number one. And then, then I started getting into it and kind of going forward. So I'm at like, I think I'm at level 15. So mm -hmm. I have not invested as much time as you have. For me, yeah. it's it's that kind of Tamagotchi aspect where it's like, all right, I need to get these timed things done, but I'm not going to sit around and wait. So I got to set everything up before I go to bed at night mm -hmm. and then let it run overnight. And then I'll wake up and like do a couple things and then kick it off for a few hours. And um, I just I went through this lull with it right now because I wasn't really able to get to any of the missions because I needed to recruit Earl. 
Oh yeah, that one was that was a pain. Yeah, yeah, it took a long time. And then Who? Neil McCro- the uh, the robot cop, robot cop. Oh oh, Smitty URL. And yeah. And uh, I'm waiting now. I'm almost done with Hattie McDougal, mm-hmm. and I have Crazy Eddie coming up. Yeah, I need to need to get more Omicronian weed so I can yeah. I can get Crazy Eddie. I, I mean, have enough Omicronian weed. <laughs> I do like that they there's like it's just all kinds of stuff throughout from the show that are just sprinkled out in yeah. the entire and, game. Well, and I, I think it's a lot of the the uh, later seasons, like a lot of the jokes that they make, like Bachelor Fry. You can you have to make this outfit for Bachelor Fry, and it's from the yeah. later episode. And what or was that from? Um, I thought that went back to when Fry was a billionaire on he a fish does. full of dollars. That might be it. I just feel like a lot of the jokes that they make and the references are all kind of later. I that wouldn't surprise later season. me. Season like the all of the the little um, clips when you tap on a character mm-hmm. and they talk, they're all from season seven, eight, nine. And that so none of that's ringing bells with me. I there was something. Um, the the episode the second last episode of season three because we just talked about this on the show like when we got to that point there were so many jokes and references from that one episode that popped up in this like the stuff mm-hmm. with Hattie the stuff with Scruffy believing in the company where he doubled down on his stock yeah um and, and several others but like the gold bender just seems out of place for me like I haven't really followed that up yeah but, it doesn't there's not much going on with the gold bender pharaoh bender um unlocks uh another planet that you can do missions on that yeah. you can finish in like five minutes i was getting my ass kicked by the omicronians on some of those things like i finally sort of leveled mm-hmm. up to a point where hopefully like what I'll wrap it up all i've gotten so far is i just tap and collect right now okay <laughs> and i've just fought some omicronians with uh um pizza yeah, so that's on the one of the missions. Yeah. So you have it I think the first missions are on Omicron 8, right? Yes. So you, And Mars is the next one after. Yeah. That. You see each planet has missions and as you progress the missions unlock and then you can kind of go further but then you need to fit, you know there's like the the task missions that have to happen on Earth where you have to send people to do certain things and that advances that to unlock things. Mm. Um it's I mean, basically, you can waste time on this game for probably the next few years and not get to the end of it. And mm-hmm. if they keep introducing shit, it's going to go on. It's pleasant. I, I enjoy it, and I'm a little addicted to it now, but not in a like tap to refresh all the time. But I'm I'm a, I'm I'm engaging with it daily. That's cool. Is it got like uh, what's the word? Does it like you you have a story that it follows along with? Like that you're getting and you're not just playing as the missions come up like that's what i mean like you're not just like oh here's a mission blah 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 keep tapping well, yeah, tapping you have to unlock everyone there's the uh there's have you found like districts. an overarching thing well the the hypnotons hypnotons yeah. from space like you collect those so everybody's the the city what was it? it's kind of like how in the beginning of tapped out springfield explodes homer explodes springfield but this is uh to fry fuck something up probably I don't remember. <laughs> oh, here's here's the story on Wikipedia. It's after the hypnotoad mesmerizes Professor Fonsworth yeah. into ordering the Planet Express crew to make a delivery to the amphibian homeworld Amphibious Nine. The hypnotoad tears through time and space to an alternate universe, bringing a female hypnotoad to the current universe. This scatters the universe and all its inhabitants, except for Fry and Nibbler. With the help of Nibbler, Fry must help the universe. Uh, wait. Fry must help put the universe back together and save his friends, rebuilding New New York and bringing back C. Uh, <laughs> can't talk. <laughs> New York and bringing back key sought out characters along the way. Um, so I guess that's the overall story. I, I mean, and if you sit back and actually read the stuff, it makes sense. Like, I'm the dumbass that this is one of the reasons I'm not as far along as I should be. Like I never read the instructions about fighting the battles when you have the face to face combat. So like I kind of figured it out a little bit, but then when you get into the Omicronians, like not that first miss- mission, excuse me on, um, on Omicron eight, but like when they invade and you're dealing with them on earth, like there's some, some, some missions that'll like kick your ass and your whole crew will get killed. And you, you like, I was like, Oh, well, 
oh, this means defended, and that's how you do critical hits. And like, oh, that if you push their special power attacks, like, because mm -hmm. I, I haven't <laughs> played like, I haven't played video games with any sort of regularity or engagement in probably twenty years. Like, it's just. I just don't have time. Except for to do Candy it. Crush, Frozen Candy Crush. Right, but that that's like that's like bathroom waiting yeah. in line time, you know, that like that's good on a plane because it's just mindless like you, you know, mm -hmm. um, time killers. Like there's all there's always room for solitaire <laughs> or uh what's or uh mahjong. But this one's like there's enough interesting stuff popping up because it, it's almost like for me, it's like a puzzle where it's like, well, how can I maximize the time that these people are going to be out of commission and still like not be sitting around waiting? Mm -hmm. Cause I don't, I don't want to engage it for more than like 10 minutes at a time, but I still want things to be happening. Yeah. Cause like certain things take a certain amount of time to happen. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. You can always speed it up with pizza, but I'm not going to spend money on the pizza. I usually just play around with it on my lunch breaks at work <laughs> and, and get it <laughs> to go to, through. Yeah. You're, I mean, I, I'm i assuming of the three of us, you probably have the most gaming hours logged. Yeah. At, well, especially <laughs> recently. So, I mean, how is this, aside from the similarities to Tapped Out, like how do you feel that this is constructed in the grander scheme of like gameology right now? I don't know. It's It's pretty standard uh, as far as mobile games go it's the it follows the formula i guess is what you'd want to say it's you tap to collect things and you just you know get experience points and money and then there's an event i think um hopefully the the events that they do are entertaining like the ones that tapped out does mm -hmm. um there's probably going to be special stuff like i think um Oh, now I have the Omicronian Statue of Liberty. Yes. So I don't think, I mean, if you don't play this event, you probably won't be able to get that because you have to unlock it using yeah. special shit. Yeah. Um, I, I, I ran know. out I of real estate. <laughs> yeah, I did. Um, and then I, I got bored one night and I somehow, I did like two space missions, ran out of fuel, but then immediately leveled up and then they, it, my fuel refilled and then I just did it all over again. <laughs> I had like 3000 of the, the hypno, hypnotons or however you want to pronounce that to unlock, um, land. So now I've got some space. Now I'm, now I'm on a, a money, I'm running out of money because I need to level up my characters. Oh. So I'm, I'm, I was in the sewers and there's this big, you can go in the sewers. Yeah. It's earth. Oh, Earth is okay. the sewers, so you go down in the sewers and you have to fight this monster in the sewers, and he's is, hard. <laughs> is that after... So I, I'm guessing that the next area I'll end up unlocking is the one that Hermes is in. Is that when it opens up Earth as a mission? Um, there, I don't know if there's one specifically for Hermes because your space missions are where you're trying to find Leela. Yeah. So, uh, so you've got Omicron, Percy I-8, Mars, then you go to the moon... Um, and you have to develop Burglar Bender. Oh. Then you can get to Chopek 9, which is the robot planet. Yep. Um, after you finish that up, um, you find Leela. Well, I guess I don't want to, I don't want to spoil yeah, too many game, <laughs> too many game points, but yeah, it just, after you finish each planet, you get an artifact, which unlocks characters and In the other sections. Yeah. So you're, you're trying to find. Uh, and unlock. I still have not gotten Leela. So at, at this point, should we set a? Who's going to play this game the longest out of the three of us? It'll probably be me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think it'll be Michelle because so I'm like, not. You're setting the bar. Tom's. Uh, we can Tom's revisit this in a little while, like somewhere down the road, another episode. Uh, just see where we're at. See where we're at with this, because I might start trying to play it here and there. Just. It's like one of those things where I just, with my job and everything, like I don't really have time to like sit and play on the phone that like requires any type of like, I can kind of just flip yeah. through Facebook or whatever. Um, but like, I don't know. I just don't want to be sitting at work playing a video game. I yeah. feel bad about that. Well, I, um, I, yeah, I'm in the same boat, but I have a lot of airport time coming yeah, up. Yeah, so. you have. I have a desk job, and I'm not supposed to be on my phone whatsoever <laughs> when I'm at my job. So I play on my lunch breaks, and when I'm at home before bed, I kind of when you're driving home from no, London. no, no. All right. 
Well, I'm glad you're following good safety precautions. Yeah, don't, don't text and drive, folks. <laughs> don't play Futurama don't World's play of That's the only time I'm going to play it while I'm driving. <laughs> just get one of those, um, the mounts and for your car, for your, so you can see <laughs> your GPS. Tap and just, just tap while you're driving. <laughs> Do uh, any concluding thoughts for this bonus episode? I hope that this Worlds of Tomorrow game coming out opens more opportunities for Futurama to come back around. Not, it doesn't even necessarily have to be redo as a TV show. Like, I don't... It started going really not good stuff towards the end of mm. the, the series, but, like, more live reads or just... What I don't do you, know. What do you like think little, their, their end game was for deciding to just put out a Futurama money. game? Yes. <laughs> just money. money. They that know that they have not a, cheap. Huge. They realize that Kim Kardashian makes more money on her video yeah. game than like anyone wait, wait, else. Wait, 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 and wait, There's a Kim Kardashian video yes. game? Yeah. <laughs> Are you yes, serious? Yes, indeed, there is. Yep. Oh, my God. I think it's a very similar type game where you tap and you wait and you dress her and, uh, yeah. you know, you make sex tapes and... <laughs> uh, you gotta, gotta unlock Ray J. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> running uh, what's his name Kanye West why can I say his name Kanye Kane. Kane Kane West oh god this is this is starting to take a horrible turn yeah we should uh, <laughs> yeah uh, so if you've been playing the game listeners let us know what you think um, email us at slurmcastpod at gmail.com call or text I want to see sorry yeah, I want to see uh, find out where you guys are at level wise. I want to see who has like a top level. Yeah, actually, let's see who's got the highest level. Who's gonna beat on me. the game? Who's, who's I want to know your Michelle. level and the total amount of money that you have spent on the game because yes. you are immediately thrown out if you spent anything cash money. You, you'll be disqualified. <laughs> uh, or you can call or text us at two one six four three eight ten seventy seven. You know, or just slurmcast dot com. But we will talk to you soon with a regular episode. Thanks for listening. Later. Bye-bye.